तदा शिव सरंभां शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ सह नवत सह नौ भुनक्त सह वीर्ज करवाहै तेजस्वी नवधीतमस्तु मृत्षा वह ओ शाति 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 ओ यम ब्रह्म वरुणेन्द्रुद्रमुद स्तुन्वि दिव्य स्तव वेद सांग पदक्रमोपनिषद ध्यानावस्थित तद्गते न मनसा पश्यंति यम योगिन यन्न विदुसुरासुरगणा देवाय तस्म नम देवाय तस्म नम शुणु मे भरतर्षभ अभ्यास रमते यत्र अभ्यास रमते यत्र दुखा च निगछति दुखा च निगछति यदग्रे विषमिव यदग्रे विषमिव परिणाम परिणाम मृतोपम परिणाम मृतोपम तत्सुख सात्विक प्रोक्त सत्सुगम सात्विक प्रोक्त आत्मबुद्धि प्रसाद आत्मबुद्धि प्रसाद विषयेन्द्रिय संयोगेन्द्रिय संयोगे मृतोपम यदग्रे मृतोपम परिणाम विषमिव परिणाम विषमिव तत्सुख राजस्मृत तत्सुख राजस्मृत यदग्रे चाबंधे चदग्रे चाबंधे चुखम मोहन आत्म निद्रालस्य प्रमादोत्थम निद्रालस्य प्रमादोत्थम तत्तामस मुदाहृतम तत्तामस मुदाहृतम न तदस्ति पृथिव्यां वा न तदस्ति पृथिव्यां वा दिवेशु वुन दिवेशु वुन तत्व प्रकृतिजर्मु तत्व प्रकृतिजर्मु यदि सैत्रिभिर्गुण यदि सैत्रिभिर्गुण ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय विषा ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय विषा शूद्राण चरतप शूद्राण चरतप 
So until Shloka number 40, <clears throat> Krishna was talking about various topics like Karta, Karma, and uh, Sukham is what he finished there. Shloka number 40. And uh, now he is going to <clears throat> continue explaining a little differently about our pursuit. Specifically, he is going to emphasize on Swadharma, what one should do. That's very interesting, you know. We always look for that. Okay, finally, what should I do? Somebody asks, what will you say? So he is with that emphasis on one's own duties. The word duty becomes very important here. And uh, that's the emphasis Krishna is going to take here. We already know that to some extent here. We know that Jnana Yoga is the final pursuit exclusive pursuit of knowledge of Atman. But to get there, I have to. The discipline that's prescribed is Karma Yoga. Huh? That also we know what is Karma Yoga. So it was introduced in second chapter itself and then third chapter is called Karma Yoga. So, so that Karma Yoga. Um, uh, is everyone experiencing uh, difficulty or is it only me? Because I can't hear Guruji. Because life is a, a series of activity. Getting up to sleeping, all activity, activity. Therefore, through activity only I have to make it. And uh, we, everybody knows one way of making it. Somehow we have to live and somehow we have to survive. Somehow we have to remain healthy. Somehow we have to be happy. Somehow, somehow, somehow. But Krishna is saying, no, it doesn't have to be somehow. It can be more thoughtful. And that lifestyle is called Karma Yoga. You can bring in whatever disciplines you have learned from whatever Guru. It's all Karma Yoga. Karma Yoga, it helps you. It helps you. Ashtanga Yoga is there, bring it in there. Any other Yoga is there, bring it in there. It can't hurt you. Okay? It can't hurt you. In, in India, the, any Om Yoga is going to be beneficial. Even Vipassana Yoga, even, why should I say even, it's all Dhyana. It's, it calms the mind so much. And so, even though they talk about this Shunyavada, okay, it's a, it's a Buddhist idea. The final idea, may, we may not you know, agree with that. But still, the discipline is very good. Discipline is good. So, all that we put under the category of Karma Yoga. And so here, he is talking about that profession. Profession. Brahmana Kshatriya Visham Shudranam. If you talk about profession in India, in, in Vedic culture, these are the words that will be used. And every society, this, its words may not be used, but every society runs uh, broadly under these categories, four categories. We saw this long time ago when we studied the Chatur Varnyam Maya Srishtam Guna Karma Vipaka Shaha Tasya Kartaram Abhimam Vidya Kartaram Abhimam 413, 413, 413, I think. 413, okay, we saw that. And so, where we analyzed again using the same Sattva Guna, Rajo Guna, Tamu. Okay? It's not difficult once we know the Gunas. Now it's not difficult to understand. And uh, Sattva means thinking. People who have the capacity, who have the love to think, to analyze, to research, 
and to find out the pros and cons of things. All that, that is coming from Sattva Guna. Some people have that, but then they are more activity-based people. Activity. They are dynamic. They like to run around and do things. And uh, so, that is uh, Rajoguna. Kshatriyas. Kshatriya Guna, like that we say. Interest. I'm talking about interest, not character. Don't take it as character. But taking it as character is what ruined the whole thought process. And we, we, and we, we got into all kinds of problems. Interest. In a family itself, there will be four types of people. One is interested in research. The other is interested in, in, the, in doing things and securing. Securing. Okay. And then the third one is interested in, in material progress. Business. Material progress. And the fourth one does, does anything that he or she is told to do. Follower. Follower. No, don't give, make me think in all these things. I am not interested. You tell me what I should do. You tell me what I should do, I will do it for you. Great, because we need that house. Purusha Suttam. Purusha Suttam. Brahmano Osyamukha Masid. Bahura Janya Kritaha. Guru Tadasya Yadvaishya. Padhyagum Shudro Ajayata. So, here, Beautiful. The whole body itself is taken as an example of a, an in, how functioning should be. For the human being to function properly, all parts of the body should be working in harmony of each other. It is very obvious. Mind should be all right. Uh, parts of the body should be all right. And, and we, we think everything is all right until we start aging. You know the first symptom of aging? Suddenly you said, oh, all these ankles, uh, these things are all failing. I've been doing so much, busy for the last uh, for 50 years, nothing happened. Now what is all this ankle paining and then all this arthritis? Arthritis? Really? So this, this, this joints can pain? Is that right? I never knew that. Yeah, now is the time to know all these things. Everything starts coming. Then appendicitis. I thought appendix, appendix is a vestigial organ. That's what they taught us. And appendix also suffers. So when it suffers, I have to suffer. Hey, you do something, then you say, it's hurting, at least I can understand. You don't do anything, and then you, you cause pain to me. Okay, that also is there. Like this part after part after part, everything starts raising their hand. Look, I'm here. You need to pay attention to me. Anyway, so that, that consonance, that harmony is required. So there, in that mantra, it says, Brahmano asya mukhamasi. A, the mukham is the head, this particular area, is the thinking portion and call that as a brahmana. Why you call it a brahmana? Why don't you call it some other word? A, brahma, brahmanam, understanding brahma is the goal of life. And so any thought process is associated with the word brahmana. brahmana. As is said in this one also, Brahadar uh, and Ekopanishad. The one who leaves the body without understanding oneself is a kripanaha. Kripanaha is a miser. One who leaves the body after understanding oneself is a brahmana. That is only the main definition we have. So, brahmana vasya mukhamasi. Then what? Well, simply thinking is of no use. Is of no use. And uh, you, you, so many other things have to work. What are the other things that have to work? Well, bahura janya kritaha bahu. Arms, arms, Rajanya Kritaha. So, Bahu, the arms are the symbol of strength, and uh, that strength has to be used to, to use the knowledge, immediately use the knowledge. Okay, then Uru Tadasi and Vaishya. Uru, <laughs> the strength of the body to carry the body places, etc., to hold the body in place, you need the thighs. The thigh is a very thick piece of the body, you know. And uh, it's, 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 it's a, it, yeah, the Purusha Suttam says that. And so, thigh is needed and then the legs. Pado Osya. Pura Janya Krida Uru Tadas Yad Vaishya Padhyagum Shudro Ajayata. If I stand only, it's coming. Suddenly, in between, if I go, I'm not getting it. So, 
ಸ್ಮೂತ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಶುದ್ರ ಪಾದ ಎ ಪಾದ ಲೋಕ ಮೋಷನ್ ರಿಲೈಸ್ ಆನ್ ಫೀಟ್ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ದ ಫೀಟ್ ನೋ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಪುಟ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ವರ್ಕ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರೂ ವಿತ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರೂ ವಿತ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಂಟ್ಲಿ ರೋಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ರೋಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸ್ವಿಚ್ ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಂಟ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಿಚ್ ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಅಟ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲೇ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಮಾಡರ್ನ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಮಾಡರ್ನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೊ that model he is talking about here and uh, so no profession is therefore inferior or superior the guy who has a lot of knowledge cannot say i am the thinker i am the wise person and this and that no way i think like that you are gifted that is your guna that is your inclination you are gifted to do that do it enjoy doing it and take the help of all the other people as needed okay that's the way to look at this so so everybody is contributing what what is professions are different jobs are different duties are different but what is the same thing that has to come a hey, this idea of yoga yajna buddhi must be there dharma buddhi must be there and so i am contributing to this yajna this is my role and uh, like a drama everybody is playing their roles so that would be contributory role okay, is there and so ramana maharshi says it very beautifully in his upadesha sar jagat ishadi yukta sevana ashtamurti vrut deva poojanam ಜಗತ ಈಶಧಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಸೇವನಂ ಏ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೇವಾ ಹೇ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಐ ಗೋಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ದ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಜಗತ ಈಶಧಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ದಿಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲೇ ಆಫ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಇಸ್ 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 ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಈಶ್ವರ ಯುಕ್ತ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಧಿ ಯುವರ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಮಸ್ಟ್ go towards that direction your buddhi must entertain that thought every minute of the day okay that jagat ishadi yukta sevanam then ashtamurti vrut deva poojanam this is how this is called ashtamurti vrut okay this kind of vision ashtamurti means what this this panchabhuta plus ಆಕಾಶ ವಾಯು ಭೂಮಿ ರಾಪೋನ ಲೋ ವಾಯು ಮನೋ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ರೇವಚ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ಸೇಮ್ ಅಷ್ಟಮೂರ್ತಿ ದಿಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಷ್ಟಮೂರ್ತಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ದೇವ ಪೂಜನಂ ರಮಣ ಮಹರ್ಷಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸೇ ನೋ ಅನ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅವೇ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅವೇ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿ ಫಾರ್ ಅವೇ ಯು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಟು ಡೂ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಯುವರ್ 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 ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಆಸ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ it has to be worship because because i and i am a product of the, this world any anyway. i am i am i am a product of so many people and so many things and panchamahamta i can't take any credit for 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 this body and mind if i have a mind i can use i start using it to give it back give it back and so that attitude yadyat karma karomi tat tat akhilam shambho tava aradhanam shiva manasa puja correct so there you go i don't need a shiva temple to be close by yetat karma karomi akhilam akhilam means however small it is however small it is that i could be sweeping the floor or it could be cleaning something else there or it could be having food or it could be cooking the food or it will be talking to the neighbor also that also convert it into a puja hey this is going to be a puja so i let me be alert when i am talking to my neighbor and let me not get carried away by unnecessary 
Vidra Alasya Pramada. This Pramada, let Pramada not overtake me. That is Deva Pujanam right there. Okay. So that kind of attitude. Long ago I read this. Uh, this particular, this body. It seems the parts of the body were arguing with each other. This argument is always there. Who is better and who is superior and all. So parts of the body also were arguing. They got into a heated argument. The heart said, you people are arguing, you want to know who is better? Everybody agrees, even medicine also they agree. Heart is the most important part of the body. And you are all, you people are vying for the position. It's not possible. You can't beat me. Like that, the heart said. Then they were all upset and they were all arguing and the hands were shouting. Legs said, no, without me, you can't move. What is the use of a pumping blood if you can't move? Like this, he was arguing. Ears and eyes and all, they were all saying, hey, without eyes, you can't, what can you do? Tell me. You can't read. You can't even see people. You may be able to talk, but without seeing, talking, how long can you sustain? Like this, they were all arguing. Argue, argue. And everybody, then, then all these parts of the body, then this the, the rear, rear aperture, this anus was there. Anus said, I am also important. And they were all laughing. Everybody got together and ganged up on this guy and said, you, useless guy, you, you say, you, come on, you didn't understand what we are talking. Like that, they were, they were just uh, making fun. So he got upset. Like children get upset, they, he locked himself in the room. He said, no, I'm forget it, I'm not talking. And so, he stopped functioning. Then one day happened, two days happened. Then they were all saying, you know, my, it's all this, this gas is building up and the stomach is bloating, abdomen, then after three days, four days, abdomen is hurting. Hey, no, no, let's no, open the door. He says, he's upset. He's not, he's not going to come out of the room at all. And uh, then slowly other problems started coming. Even then slowly vomiting, nausea and all started. And then they complained. And then they went to the heart and said, heart, you have to do something. You are, people think you are the head. Now you have to talk. And then the heart came down and he said, okay, okay, okay. See, we made a mistake. We started comparing each other. And said, I'm big and you're small and all. Nobody is big, nobody is small. Please come back. Please start working. Please do your job. And we also promise to do our job. We promise not to compare each other. This is what happened. And so, there is, everybody has to do their jobs. And uh, so, our Vedic vision is that, that society is also like this body. Like this body, exactly like this body, no different. If you understand the workings of the body, you understand the working of the universe. That's it. It's, it's as simple as that. So Vasudeva, Kutumba, come and all this say. And it all comes from this idea. It's a very simple idea actually. And uh, <clears throat> therefore, Karma Yoga, Jnana Yoga, these are the two <clears throat> pillars of our scriptural study. Yeah, these are the two pillars. Once you understand it, then the whole Shastram just reveals itself to you. Reveals itself completely. And uh, so Karma Yoga, Karma Yoga and uh, Jnana Yoga. Jnana Yoga is self-discovery. Self-discovery. Which is world discovery, which is equal to Ishwara discovery. All identical, everything will start falling in place. And so one is called Preyo Margaha, Pravritti Margaha, Karma Yoga, activity, positive pursuit. I need Antakkarana Shuddhi, I need certain things to survive, etc. That is always there. So positive, Pravritti, then Nivritti, Jnana Yoga is Nivritti, and Shreyo Margaha. So all that we've studied, and uh, emphasis being Swadharma. And so, so then who should, who am I? Am I a, am I a thinking person? Am I a administrative person? Am I a business person? Or am I a follower? Follower means what? 
follower is, see, the society has needs all the people. You need people who can do a lot of labor. The guy who's thinking can't do labor at all, can't even lift a small suitcase. Okay, where is the question of getting things done? You can't get, you need people who, with ability to, to lift things and move things and not get tired. You climb one flight of stairs and then the, the, the body is just, just heart is just, no, you need people who can, who can work, work hard. Work horses are needed. And so, all functions are needed. And we discuss this in detail in Chatur Varnyam. So, the caution here is, the caution is what? This guna, guna-based division we say. That guna is inclination. Inclination, capacity. What is it you love, love to do? That love. That love is called the guna. The love is called guna, not character. If you mean it, a guna means character also, you know. And so if you say character-based, then the brahmana is the greatest in character. Shudra is the worst in character. That is the wrong way to characterize. Character is the wrong way to characterize. Correct? It's wrong. It's wrong. Absolutely wrong. Why? Because in a family itself, you have brahmana, kshatriya, shudra, and vaishya. Because inclination, interests are different. And it's the job of the counselor in the school or college to identify that. Help the child know who you are. This is what you seem to be interested in. Continue pursuing it. I'll, I'll help you anytime you want you talk to me. Like that, the child has to be encouraged to discover oneself. We won't know what's good for us because with so many vibes there and so many things going on, the child can't figure out really what I should do. Unless the interest is very very prominent. They can't figure out. And uh, so anyway, you know all that. So, here he's saying, Brahmana Kshatriya Visham Shudra Namcha Parantapa He Parantapa One who can decimate enemies. That is called Parantapa. And so, these are the four categories of dharma. Dharma means of professions, if you want to call it. Of type, major types of activities that govern a society. And that govern a society means society is made of individuals and individuals' interests. Individuals are happy, society will be happy. Individuals are confused, then you've got a confused society. The individuals have to be enlightened and contribute. And so, somebody, you know, I, in Bhagavatam, there is a story. Somebody was sitting on the street, on the side. And he was asked, Hey, did you see the king and this whole how great it was, you know, the king went and the procession was there and all Sangeetam, Dhamaka, all that was going on, everything. And this guy said, really, when did it happen? Half an hour ago. Oh, I was focused on this. He's sharpening arrows. He's an arrow maker. And arrow maker, focus. He's focused on this job. So my mind was on this one. That's what he said. So, he loved what he did. He really loved what he did. And uh, that's what brings joy. Okay. So, anyway, these are all basics for you. And so, based on that inclination or interest, you've got this Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shriya, Prasanna. Uh, Guruji, quick question on the topic we are discussing. In different phases of life, uh, can we categorize... Uh, same person as being a Brahmana or a Vaishya or a Shudra or so whatever, because at different phases of life, our focus is right. different. Right. Question Question understood. And so that's true. Even during a given day, even during a given day, it changes. It changes. By night time, I become a Shudra. I mean, I'm not interested in, in all this what to do, this, that, and that. Let's think about it tomorrow. 
get up in the morning, freshness. Most people should be fresh in the morning. Some people are sleepy in the morning. That is different. But freshness is there in the morning. Again, rajas. Then after some time, you get feel like getting up and doing stuff. So, rajagano pradana will be there. So, so yes, during the day itself, it changes. Definitely during one's lifetime, the predominance will keep changing. Because the knowledge we gain changes and it dramatically influences us. Okay? And then studies previously, then of course activity, grasta. Then vana prasta. If I'm not, if the idea is not changing for me, at least the system says, hey, you are you are now you should be a vana prasti, which means you have to reduce your activity. If I didn't already reduce my activity, the Shastram says you you have the right to call things off and then withdraw. Practice. Practice your own sadhanas, which you've been always, you've been collecting all these books. We have big, big bookshelves with a lot of books. It's on display. From display, it should go into here. Yaha par jana. Reading. And so, correct. So, prasanna is correct. During the life, it has to change. It has to change. Because Shastram is saying, sannyasa is a goal of a human life during one's life. Which means what? We have to begin entertaining that idea. And so, that means our inclination should change. Correct? Should change. During our life. Absolutely. That is called Ashrama Dharma. That is the, that is the shake, handshake between the Varna Dharma and Ashrama Dharma. Varna Dharma is a, a, a society-based characterization. In society, you need Brahmana, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas and Shudras. Then what about this Ashrama? Ashrama is for the individual. Individual. Which also is governed by the same three gunas, Sattva, Rajas and Tamas. So we must become more Sattva predominant during the course of our life. Because then Sanyasa means no activity. No activity means reduced activity. Then what will I do with all the time? Well, you need that kind of time for this introspection, self-discovery. So, good question. Brahmana Kshatriya Visham Shudranam Cha Parantapa Karmani Pravibhaktani The karmas means the duties. The duties of these people are Pravibhaktam. They are all divided, categorized. They are, they are not categorized in this particular manner. And uh, in what manner? How is this categorization coming about? Swabhava prabhavaihi gunaihi. Based on gunas. Gunas means what? That inclination, interest, preference. Okay, some people like very hot and salty food. Some people say, no, I don't need all this. Some people say, I want sweets. They love sweets. And so I don't, I don't, they just... Uh, they're indifferent when it comes to sweets. And then this uh, sweet-loving people wonder, how can somebody not like this? Well, that is how it is. Swabhava, uh, swabhava, that is a swabhava. How can they not like it? Means that is swabhava. They themselves don't know. Nobody knows why we are the way we are. Okay? Swabhava, prabhavaihi, gunaihi. Prabhava means born of. The gunas that are born of one's own nature. Sobhava, one's own nature. One's own nature is again Maya and all will be brought in Sattva. Sattva and uh, Rajasantamo, Guna, Guna, Gunaihi. Okay. All right. Here, Guna is preference, inclination, one's own love, what one loves. Nobody can decide what one loves. The one comes with the love for things. But, but Karma Yoga says you better learn to love what you're doing. You do stop complaining about this all the time. That also is there. Because there's no guarantee that you'll end up doing what you love to do. There's no guarantee. So in that case, what do you do? You know, what do you do? You have to put up with what you have. And so that is always there. Because the Buddhi is there. So here he's saying, he's saying, how do I choose what I, I should do? Well, 
what I love to do is the best thing. That is the best way. Okay. Suppose I don't get to do what I love to do. Then what? Then do. Then jati. First is guna, then jati. Jati means what? Hey, whatever your parents were good at, do that. No harm. Best. All, all, all over the world, this is what they did. Whatever parents did, that's what the children also used to do. All over the world. Not India and all. Everywhere. Everywhere. I told you this before. My, 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 my supervisor, my first supervisor's name was Dan Potter. Potter. P-O-T-T-E-R. Yeah, Potter. They used to make pots. What it is. Last name is like that. Last name gives the clue. Okay. And so, do that. There is, the, 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 what is the advantage of that? Advantage is, you are, you are secure. You have a guide. You have a mentor. Right there at home itself, we have a mentor. There is no confusion at all. You get better and better. Third, second advantage is you get better and better. Already as a child, you knew it. You knew the job. And so, adult, there is no question of all. Training is already over. By the time you start full-time employment, training is over. There is always a guide. There is always a mentor. And competition is also reduced. Because now there is no clamor. Everybody is not clamoring to get some particular profession. So there is a division of labor, division of interest, natural division of interest. And therefore, it's joyful. In many ways, it's advantageous. Then, if I don't like what my parents do, then what? Okay, then find a job. Then they say, what is the good, well-paying jobs? What are the well-paying jobs out there? That becomes a question. Well-paying jobs. What I love, I, I'm not able to do or I'm not sure. Parents, what they do, is the hereditary stuff, I'm not interested. You know, I, I bought some, you know, during Krishna Jayanti, this Janmashtami, we buy, what is this called? We make this uh, sweets. There is a particular thing called Shidai, we call it. And so, there are some stores that sell it at the time. So, there is a well-known place here. They make it. They make it at home. And so, I went there to buy it. He runs a coffee shop. It's just a small place where they grind the coffee and they give it. So, fresh coffee, many people buy. So, I asked him, how long have you been doing it? 75 years. My grandfather started this. So, it is a, it's a jati. Correct? Jati karma it is. And then... Then what about, where are your children? What are they doing? This is the last generation that's going to do this. My son is in America, Seattle, and daughter is in Germany. And so gone. And nobody is interested in this business. Gone. Over. Finished off. And so, but, but look at that. People are coming and buying. I, so I, I told him, give me a discount on this. I just tickled it. Just needle punch. Then he said, what what discount you are asking? Uh, we've been doing it for so many years. I have to make 10 rupees or no in this? Like that he started selling. It's, I was just watching and listening. And then this is a family business. Ah, oh, like that he was saying. And I, I, it was good to hear all this. So then he said, no, it's not going to continue. It's not going to continue. It's gone. He's seeing the end of the profession. But he's so good. He said, ah, why I said this is, I have my customers. I don't need many new customers. Customers have been coming to me for ages. They're coming. That's what he said. Which means what? I don't have to sell this to anybody. I don't have to give you discount and implied. This is implied. Discount. Okay, if you take two more kilos, I give you 10%. All this, I don't have to do all that. Yeah, Satish Ji, what's up? Okay, you said uh, Potter was your first boss. That's why you are using pot in every class. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> okay. So, I can choose what I love to do. I can choose what my parents have been good at. Like doctors, children of doctors become doctors. Natural it is. Natural it is. The tendency of the child is to do that. And so, <clears throat> are this remuneration-based job the riskiest way to start one's life? And so, 
because joy won't be there. Constant anxiety will be there. I'm not sure about what to do, when to do. No proper guidance out there. And so there's always a transaction-oriented work. And so that's, that's, uh, that's, that's there. Sometimes we have to do that. But that's not advised. Anyway, so the answer to that is what? Love. Do what you love. Gunashritam karma. Whatever my heart tells me, I will do that. Even if it means some inconvenience, even if it means some reduced income, etc., all that is there. Then what happens? Then I then the minute I start doing my job, my joy begins. I don't have to wait for the job to complete in order to be happy. Joy is there right from the minute I start working. Start work. So job is equal to joy. Okay? And uh, there is no need. The karta and bhokta are both there. I am happy. As long as I do it, I am happy. I am happy. What made you happy today? The fact that I did so much work today itself made me happy. So, otherwise I have to look at, I have to look forward to the weekend. Look forward to the weekend, you know. Weekend. By which time you are already weakened. Correct? So, already tired. Therefore, going after money means then the, if everybody starts doing that, then what will happen? The sattva, the, the thinking part, and then the love, what you really love to do, you are not doing, means the it's a loss for the nation. It's a loss for the nation. You know, our president, the prime minister, gives awards periodically to people who are creative and have done something by themselves. All these YouTubers, they got a lot of awards recently. And uh, they, they're creating a little phenomenon on them. And young people are all coming up with good ideas and all. He brought them to the stage. And so it's good. That's how you have to encourage people. Tell people that you do what you love to do. I will take care of you. Don't worry. Society will take care of you. That's how the society should be. Only then the society is, you know, we feel like <clears throat> it's a progressive society. So anyway, and uh, otherwise the nation suffers. All aspects of the nation suffer. Everybody is running after something means what? Then, then that's not a very stable society. So here he's saying, Swabhava Prabhavaihi Gunaihi. This Prabhibhaktam the categorization is done by the Swabhava, Prabhava. So the caused by or born of one's own inclination, one's own interest. The gunas that are caused by one's own interest. That are reflected by one's own interest. And, uh, and that's where I have choice to choose what I do only. How do you know that that's where we have choice? Only in karma we have choice. In karma palam there is no choice. Yes or no? Yes. Correct. And what is what is the pramanam for that? Karman nevadika. raste maapaleshu kadachana. That's the pramanam. In case we had other ideas, Krishna is saying no. Karman eva. Adhikaraha me. My choice is only in karma. Everything else is up to Ishvara. Like that, we have seen that. So let's uh, look at this shloka. Duties are allotted to duties are allotted to Brahmanas, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas, and Shudras. Duties are allotted to Brahmanas, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas, and Shudras according to Gunas. According to Gunas. Born of Prakriti.
ಅರ್ಜುನ ಡ್ಯೂಟೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಲಾಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣಾಸ್ ಕ್ಷತ್ರಿಯಾಸ್ ವೈಶ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶೂದ್ರಾಸ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಬಾನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪುಟ್ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರಾಕೆಟ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲಿನೇಷನ್ what one naturally loves to do that is that is the guna here not character be careful it's not character okay? <clears throat> all right it's not character and also uh okay can be it can be satvam rajas and tamas but not in the sense that krishna talked about because tamo means negativity is going to come but here we are not saying shudras negative shudras duty is negative shudras duty is also shudra is also a satvik guy satvikly he does the shudra job so we have to be very careful how you interpret this anyway but be careful when you go out there you be very very careful how you use these words dangerous words in india these are very dangerous words to use today and they somebody will be out there just catch you by your throat and you be very careful better not use the words as far as possible. that's my fear key yeah much <clears throat> shamo damasta pashau ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಕರ್ಮ ಸ್ವಭಾವ once again shamo damasta pashaucham shamo damasta pashaucham shanti rajyam eva cha shanti rajyam eva cha jnanam vijnanam astikyam jnanam vijnanam astikyam brahma karma swabhavajam brahma karma swabhavajam then so now he is going to to define those karmas brahma karma swabhavajam brahma karma means that this brahma karma samadhina and all you should not drink brahma brahma arpanam brahma havihi brahma agno brahma nahudam brahma ivatena gantavyam brahma karma samadhina no that meaning is that brahma karma is not there their brahma karma is looking at brahma seeing brahma everywhere that is a brahma karma samadhina sarvam khalu idam brahma that brahma there nirgunam brahma is, is there everywhere like that here it is different brahma has four meanings what are the meanings of brahma our favorite nirgunam brahma is also there sagunam brahma ishvara is also brahma brahma ji okay sagunam brahma brahma ji same category brahma ji is there correct chaturmukha brahma ji then vedaha brahma also means vedaha fourth meaning of brahma is what comes here brahmana brahmana so so here he is referring to this brahma karma what is the karma what is the duty of a brahmana that is what is being talked about here and you look at this definition we will say you know what the people who call themselves brahmanas are they really brahmanas that is the question you will begin to ask that is that's a, that's how it is krishna's definition is like that and so he says jnanam vijnanam okay he is using big words here already earlier we saw jnanam vijnana sagitam uh, so, what is it idam vakshami jnanam teham savijnanam 
इदं वक्ष्याम्य शेषतः यज्ञात्वानेह भूयोन्यद ज्ञातव्यमम शिष्यते लाइक दैट ही सेड इन द 7th चैप्टर सेकंड श्लोक और थर्ड आई सो देयर ही सेड ज्ञानम तेहम विज्ञान आई विल टीच यू बोथ ज्ञानम एंड विज्ञान दैट मींस देयर व्हाट ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट सगुण ब्रह्म विद्या एंड निर्गुण ब्रह्म विद्या वी सॉ दैट लास्ट टाइम बिकॉज़ दिस इज ऑल अबाउट अबाउट आत्मा एंड जगत द ईश्वर सो सगुण ब्रह्म विद्या ए सगुण ब्रह्म इज देयर and nirguna brahma is there i teach you both all right it gnanam vijnanam can also mean one more thing. it can mean samanya gnanam and vishesha gnanam samanya gnanam means what suppose i ask you do you know e is equal to mc square what will you say you will say yes or no initially you will say yes or no because it's a popular equation nobody very few people can say they don't know any very, anybody who has had some education will, will know it somehow college education at least let's say okay you know it then come give, give me a lecture give a lecture on is that for, for an hour if i ask you then you said oh no 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 not like that don't ask me all that guruji i have heard of the equation i know e means energy and means mass c means velocity of light is too much asking me ah that means what i have samanya gnanam of e is equal to mc square vishesha gnanam ledu illai nasti no vishesha gyan i don't know anything i am not i am not a physicist and so I, for that one has to be a physicist or at least think like a physicist study like a physicist. okay so that that is what here of gnanam is samanya gnanam विज्ञानम इज विशेष ज्ञानम ऑफ व्हाट वेल ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट इन हैंड व्हिच इज ब्रह्म विद्या एंड सो सगुण ज्ञानम मीन सगुणम ब्रह्म सामान्य ज्ञानम एवरीबॉडी नोज अबाउट गॉड ईश्वर एवरीबॉडी नोस एंड देयरफॉर दैट इज सामान्य दैट इज ज्ञानम बट आई आई नीड टू टीच यू अ लिटिल अबाउट दैट एंड देन विज्ञान विज्ञानम स्पेसिफिकली यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड निर्गुणम ब्रह्म Don't understanding nirgunam brahma sagunam is not going to be entirely useful to you. It will not take you to moksha. Therefore, you have to know this vijnana. That is one meaning. Second meaning. Third meaning also we can give. Vijnana is all that we've been studying all these years before coming to Gita class. That is, that is what anatma vidya. is gnanam vijnanam is atma vidya you know the word anatma vidya seems very strange you know uh, strange means what uh, you mean i have been studying about anatma all these years you mean my degrees are all anatma degrees that's a question we are getting you know yeah it is, it is anatma only every subject is anat every subject is anatma. it's not me even the psychologist who studied a lot about the mind that is also anatma vidya only because mind is anatma okay so mithya vidya versus satya vidya okay that is the third meaning we can give so like this we can give many meanings but so here krishna is saying you have to bring atma vidya in here this guy must be knowledgeable about the life and about society and about duties this guy must know plus he must know atma vidya also or at least he must be interested in that pursuing that very bold statement that guy is a brahmana okay so he this this definition seems to be like the the bhradaranya kopanishad definition also so gnana so here it's beautiful uh, i don't know if i have time to three four minutes are there <clears throat> so here family brings in what's called vidya sthana ani it's good for all of us to know that vidya sthana ani it's called chaturdasha vidya sthana ani means there are 14 fields of knowledge like that there is a well known idea in our our anatana dharma ethos is there the chaturdasha just like chaturdasha bhuvanani here it is chaturdasha vidya sthanani okay so there the, the shloka goes like this angani angani vedas chatvara ha 
Angani Vedas Chatwaraha. You write it down later. Just listen now. Angani Vedas Chatwaraha. Mimamsa Nyaya Vistaraha. Puranam Dharma Shastrancha Vidya Hyedas Chaturdasha. Like that, this shloka is telling. Okay, let's listen to this. Angani Vedas Chatwaraha. First part. Vedas Chatwara, four Vedas. Then there is something called Angani. Angani also you know. Stand Vedangani. So Shiksha, Vyakaranam, Kalpam, Diruptam, Chandas, Jyotisham. These are the six Angani. What is What are all those? Shiksha. Shiksha means the science of pronunciation. Pronunciation. Because to extract stuff from the Veda, you need to speak it. And you need to know the language. And so pronunciation is one aspect. Siksha, Kalpam, Vyakaranam. Vyakaranam is grammar. Kalpam. Kalpam is a know-how of all rituals. Because Vedic society means ritual-based society. And uh, ritual-based means what? Ritual is an intrinsic part of the lifestyle. So Kalpam. That, is called, that science is called Kalpam. Then Niruktam. Niruttam is, is a little. Is that a is that is Vyakaranam is. No, one minute, one minute, let me finish. Vyakaranam is grammar, Sanskrit grammar. But Niruttam is, Vedas has so many words which don't follow the grammatical rules that you have studied. Let us scratch your head. What is all this Sandhi rules? I studied all this Visarka Sandhi and uh, Vrindhi Sandhi, this, that and all. Uh, Hal Sandhi and all I've studied. This Hal and all says, forget it, don't work. So there it is different kinds of rules. Those rules are called Viruttam. Etymology of Vedic words. Okay. Then Chandas, you already know. Any Chandas are there. Chand are there in Bhagavad Gita, we have two Chandas. Peter, Anushtuk Chandas and Tushtuk Chandas, Chandaha. Then Jyotisham. Jyotisham. So this astrology, as they call it, which is very connected to astronomy. Astrology and astronomy in our Dharma is connected. Very, very closely connected. And both are, in fact, both are called Jyotisha. <clears throat> anyway, this is Angani. Angani Vedas Chatvaraha. Angani is 6. So 6 plus 4, 10. Then, Mimamsa Nyaya Vistaraha. Mimamsa. Okay, Mimamsa. Mimamsa means analysis of what of what of the Vedas itself. You have to interpret the Vedas. You have to know how to read the Vedas. The Vedas, you there is no there is no title, there is no chapter, there is no subheading, there is no heading, there is no number, there is no bullet point, there is no hyphens, there is no tick marks, nothing. There is no comma also. There is no period also. In many things, it's not going on for paragraph, entire paragraph is one line. What will you do? Tell me. Uttra Kameshti Yaga is there. Where is where does it start? Where does it begin? Even to figure out where it starts, where it begins, people have to look at it. That looking at it is called Mimamsa. Very important. These are all, these are all there. And so our textbooks are all very nicely. If you look at you look at this textbook, table of contents. What table of contents? You go to the Veda, this Samhita book, no table of contents, simply. This, it starts Pratama Kandaha, Pratama Adhyayaha. Okay, Adhyayaha is there. That's it over. Nothing else is there. Pratama Prashnaha. Okay, there is another subject. Prashna is there. But Prashna is five, five pages, ten pages. And the uh, paragraphs are all there. That's about it. You won't get anything. Therefore, Mimamsa. Then what? Nyaya Vistaraha. Nyaya. Nyaya means logic. Logic is, we have to, everything, all analysis is based on logic. So logic is a separate big subject. Even in, in, in our secular sciences, it's a big subject. So it is there, part of our, of our Veda. Jayanam is there, logic is there. Then Puranam Dharma Shastrancha. Okay, two we covered, Mimamsa and Nyaya. So that comes to 10 plus 2, 12. Puranam Dharma Shastra Chha. Puranani, Ashtadasha Puranani. Okay. Massive it is. Massive. Massive. Bhagavata Puranam is how many shlokas? 
some 18,000 lokas or something. And then Sridhar Swami has written a nice tika on it, commentary. Hmm. That means how much time that person would have dedicated in that in his life. Entire life he must be writing. 18,000. Then Mahabharatam is what? Mahabharatam is uh, 1 lakh, 100,000 lokas. And uh, somebody, Neela Kanta has written a Vyakya of that. Swamiji quotes all this. And Swamiji says, okay, this is 14, okay? Ketaha Chatur Dasha. So this is Vidyasthanani, 14 fields of knowledge, if you want to call it. And there are some other songs. So, the person who knows this is called, is called, there is a word, word for it, is called Sangopanga Vedadhyayi. Sangopanga Vedadhyayi. Sanga Upanga Vedadhyayi. Means he knows the Vedas, but he also knows all these Upavedas and Angas, Sadangani and Upavedas. Upaveda, I didn't mention. This Ayurveda, Dhanurveda, no Dhanurveda, Art Adveda, Warfare, Ayurveda, Health, Science of Health, Medicine, Dhanurveda, Gandharva Veda, Music, and Sthapatya Veda. Stapatya, architecture. So like this, they have some things. So that is, if you add that, it becomes Ashtadasha Vidyasthana. The shloka talks about Chaturdasha Vidyasthana. And this guy is called Sangopanga Vedadhyay. Okay. Who, who's going to become a Sangopanga Vedadhyay? Be the person who spends time on these things. If I am doing 50 different things and then Veda is uh, 10 minutes, I will chant and go. If I say, there is, this, this will get lost. This Veda Dhyayanam, Veda culture will get lost. We get lost. So we have to, you need people just like medicine. You need doctors, you need hospitals, you need researchers, you need institutes. And you need people who write encyclopedias. Somebody has to do it. Then the neurologist can look up the encyclopedia of neurology. Ah. This neurologist is barely just pass, okay, and then he picks up the encyclopedia. So he benefits from the knowledge of others. You can tell. We all benefit from dictionaries. Imagine writing a dictionary. Can you believe writing a dictionary? How boring it would be to write a dictionary, word after word, meaning after meaning, and you can't forget anything, you can't leave out anything. After printing it all out, they say you missed the five obvious words. How will it be for the author? The word and is missing. And is missing. You can't take it for granted. Dictionary can't say and is okay. Everybody understands and. Everybody does not. The dictionary means those words which you understand, which you don't understand also must be there. So, people, you need people to do all this. So, even for Veda, Veda Samrakshanam means not ordinary. Need all these things. Why I said all this? This is important. That brahms, jnanam, vijnanam. We spend so much time analyzing all kinds of things. In America, I remember long ago, flag burning. Somebody burnt a flag. And whole media, this, that analysis, flag burn. First time that too, it happened. Oh, what to do? Is it right, wrong, Supreme Court case, that, everything. So much time is wasted. People's mind wasted arguing on something like this. When there is so much to do. So much to do. So many debates are happening which are all, which will become irre irrelevant if we know all these things. Correct? Because there is so much to know. Dharma Shastra is so big. Dharma. What are the duties of a, of a grahastha? What are the duties of a patni? What are the duties of a pati? What are the duties of a Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra? What are the duties of a king? I think we should know. If we know all this, then we won't have, we won't be arguing about all these trivial things. Very, very trivial. Trivial things become very big if we are all just floundering in darkness. And so, Jnanam, Vijnanam, there is so much to talk here. And so, anyway, I will pause here. Sango Panga Vedadhyayi. That's how everybody should be.
we had those kinds of masters. We still do. We still have those masters. And we seek them out. We have to seek them out and get their blessings. So, anyway, so that's what Krishna is talking here. He is beginning to tell what this Brahma karma, Brahmana karma is and so forth. We'll see that in the next part. Om Ramas um, Apadam Apahattaram Dataram Sarvasampadam Loka Bhiramam Shri Ramam Bhuyo Bhuyo Namamyaham Om Kale Varshatu Parjanyaha Prithivi Sasya Chalini Desho Yamksho Bharahitaha Brahmana Santu Nirbhayaha Om Pur Namadaf Pur Namidam Pur Nath Pur Namudachyate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Nameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om Thank you. Thank you.